Hello, this is David Taylor at Web Media with another online marketing secret. And this week I want to talk about the six most common failings of business websites. Number one, not designed with the audience in mind. When you think about developing a website, do not uh, design or build in terms of what you like or what you want to get across. You need to design the website in terms of the target audience. Who are you aiming your messages at? What are their problems that your website is going to or your business is going to solve? Um, where are their pain points and how can your website take their pain away? If you keep that very clearly in mind when you're putting together your website, you're likely to come up with something that's much more successful. Number two, common failure. The website doesn't convey the value proposition. People will not stay on your website for very long if they don't immediately understand what the value proposition is. What is it that you are trying to get across that is going to be of high value to your target audience? You have got to convey the value proposition in writing or through imagery as soon as the visitor lands on your landing page. It's got to be able to get across in a matter of seconds because that's what's going to convince them to stay on board. Number three, Websites are not designed and built to be found. This is all about understanding keywords and the words that people are most likely to search if they're looking for your kind of business service or product. You need to be using those words once you've identified them in very strategic places on your website. In, for example, the page titles, that's an important one, but also in your navigation tags and in your headings and in your narrative text. Not stuffing keywords, but using them in a natural way, properly written, written with the target audience in mind, but there they are embedded in the HTML, behind the page, all your target keywords. That's how you're going to get your website found. It's no good having a great website if nobody knows it's there. Number four, no calls to action. You can get websites that have an awful lot of information or a lot of text, like these ones do, but it's far from clear what the website wants you to do next. And that is uh, been proved to be uh, a very common mistake, is that once you get someone to your page and you've conveyed the value proposition, you've got to make it clear to a child even, what it is that you want them to do next. Do you want them to download something? Do you want them to subscribe to your newsletter? Do you want them to buy something? Do you want them to book something? Uh, there's all sorts of calls to action, but it needs to be very clear what you want the prospect to do next. And quite often that is involving trying to capture their contact information. So that's number four. Number five is poor design. Um, this is all about first impressions and we all know how important first impressions are. And first impressions set the tone. And if the tone set on your first impression is this has been put together in a very haphazard and amateurish way, then that is the impression people are gonna have of your building, of your business. and. Once they've got that impression, um, it's almost impossible to change it. So first impressions are really important and you need to be ensuring that the brand values that you consider your business to have are conveyed within seconds once somebody lands on your website. That's number five. Number six, the final one for today is all about developing the website. And the way to do this is on the basis of evidence. And you get your evidence from uh, something like Google Analytics. If you don't know about Google Analytics, do a search on YouTube for it, and you'll soon understand that it is a, uh, a piece of software that is free, that sits behind your website, 
and it's easy to install and it tells you all sorts of critical information about how many visitors you had, how many repeat visitors versus new visitors, where they came from, what were the keywords that brought them to your website. This is all gold dust information and so many businesses tell me week in week out, oh yes I've got Google Analytics on my, on my website but I don't look at it and I don't understand how to use it. Well you need to get up to speed because it is absolutely um, essential to understand the information that it is telling you and that will enable you to change your website, put more of the content on that people are um, looking at most, take off the comp content that people are looking at least, uh, pander to um, certain types of consumer. If you are getting a lot of um, traffic from the United States, for example, then you need to develop content that is um, directed at that kind of target audience. Uh, or if lots of people are finding you for a certain keyword, which is the wrong keyword, then you need to investigate why that's happening. So number six, you need to use the evidence from Google Analytics to develop your website going forward. So I hope you find those things interesting. Take a look at your own website with objective eyes and have a look whether you are passing uh, the test on those six items. And if you're not, then it's time to, um, to take some action. Meanwhile, I will see you next time for another online marketing secret. Bye for now.